Myth 6 states that black holes can appear only as a result of a star's explosion and that they are only enormous. This myth goes way back. At the dawn of general relativity, when the equations describing black holes had just been obtained, the question arose of how they could form, and the first possible scenario turned out to be the collapse of a massive star into a black hole. It was precisely this image that entered popular culture. However, over time, other mechanisms for black hole formation were discovered, and it turned out that they can have a wide range of sizes. Thus, micro-black holes can form when microparticles collide at enormous speeds, or due to random oscillations of space-time curvature, called fluctuations, and their sizes and masses can be comparable to those of atoms. Another class of black holes is primordial black holes. They formed soon after the Big Bang due to fluctuations in space-time curvature. Their masses should be commensurate with those of planets, and they are about the size of a basketball. Potentially, some of these black holes could have evolved into large ones through the constant accretion of matter. But this has not been confirmed so far. There is also a theory of black hole formation via the so-called direct collapse, skipping the stellar stage. This can occur in very massive gas and dust clouds when the flux of radiation and matter from a newly formed star is insufficient to stop the infall of matter onto it, and the cloud rapidly collapses into a black hole. This mechanism has not yet been thoroughly studied or confirmed, but it is the best explanation for the appearance of supermassive black holes in the cores of galaxies that were the first to form after the Big Bang. At the moment, the existence of stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes has been reliably confirmed. As for other types, there is no observational confirmation yet.